y'all and y'all know exactly the y'all who i am talking to right now in this moment as i'm looking at this camera lens y'all getting on my nerves with this chicken sandwich it's a chicken sandwich it's chicken maybe what's going on you guys you girl just koi here and welcome back to the corner hey kids how you feeling how you doing how goes it today i just kind of wanted to have a little bit of a rant session because i feel as though we, my people of the diaspora, of the continent, I feel as though we are really, really like stretching this chicken thing and it's not a good look. Like as a collective, you feel what I'm saying? And as a person that is in that collective per se, I do not like the guilty by association impersonation, you get what I'm saying? So I don't, I don't like, I don't like that it's just chicken you feel what i'm saying the way y'all reacting over a chicken sandwich make it seem like every black person is like fiending for a popeye's chicken sandwich to the point where now kfc has made plant-based fried chicken y'all are making y'all stressing people out y'all genuinely stressing people out before we get into that please do not forget to like this video do not forget to subscribe because i mean you come here to the corner more than once you've assembled along with the rest of the kids you know you enjoy the vibe we have a good time so i mean just make it official and subscribe like let's just let's just get it get it done kid come on kid chop chop i i, I, I wanted to do this as thorough as I possibly could, honestly. I really, truthfully, honestly did. So I Googled real quick, you know, the Popeyes versus Chick-fil-A sandwich thing. And apparently it's like this campaign of the best chicken sandwich in America. I feel as though, personally, we can definitely be focusing all these efforts and whatnot onto other things that are concerning as an American society. But if we wanna have a little moment over this chicken sandwich, so be it. Let me just let y'all know, I've had the Popeye's chicken sandwich. I don't understand the big hype over it. So that's really a reason why I want y'all to calm down. To refresh my own brain cells for like a quick 2.5 seconds, I think I remember finding out about the Popeye's Chick-fil-A sandwich thing via Facebook or possibly Twitter. It was like a thief in the night. Like it came out of the blue that everyone was obsessed with this freaking sandwich and it was a battle between Chick-fil-A and Popeyes and it was like Chick-fil-A and Popeyes was having like a fun little, like a friendly competition on Twitter. It turned into this other thing. So now it's this other thing and this other thing is like a really big thing and I am personally tired of the thing. Like what I get tired of is the fact that we really can't just have a moment as a society where we get to enjoy something and we have that moment and it be that moment and then it's over. We overkill so much, it's like annoying. Like, okay, yes, the Popeyes versus Chick-fil-A sandwiches is, is funny, okay, I guess. It's a chicken sandwich, which by the way, I'm not even sure it's actual real chicken. I don't work for either organization or company, so I don't want to say that's not true. But I personally feel like when I taste the Popeye's chicken sandwich with that whole sauce or whatever, I can make better. Just saying. So, you know what I mean? I don't understand the big hype, but what annoys me about it is that black people like y'all, I have to talk specifically to y'all because y'all are the ones that are making like this really annoying like as a fellow black person it's really aggravating to see how y'all are flipping out over this sandwich and then you wonder why so many people still choose to claim stereotypes are so true because like if wendy's come out with a watermelon flavored chunky smoothie or something it's gonna really annoy me to see black people flock and in like these giant herds if you will because that's how y'all are acting like these giant herds of people to go for this one thing that attributes to a stereotype that for decades we've been trying to overcome because it continues a narrative that we we're trying to escape like dead ass black people as a collective whole we made a sandwich sell out 
from a national food chain. Imagine what we could do with that money if we put it into our own communities, if we put it into our own backgrounds, into educating our kids, into getting health resources, into getting rid of these food deserts in the neighborhood so where people aren't flocking like flies to honey bottles to friggin' Popeyes and Chick-fil-A, which, by the way, is not even healthy for you. It's really upsetting and so disturbing to know biological facts and know statistics about black people and know that we are dying from morbid obesity and from high cholesterol and high blood pressure. We are dying, okay? It's not a joke, it's not a game. You can look this shit up. We are dying. And the fact that there are so many black people that are willing to just flock to these kind of situations, like, it's like, dude, they're killing us. Us with what we're eating I hope you understand that it's not a joke it's not a game and I'm not someone that's on this high horse of you need to be ultra healthy but at the same time it's a fried chicken sandwich on bread like let's just be clear about this it's a fried chicken sandwich on bread what's different when you just have the pieces of chicken and you just eating the chicken and you eat your biscuit that's one thing but now you have a fried chicken bread sandwich and there are people that are eating two three four of these things at a time. I'm concerned for our health. I'm concerned about our longevity. We are not going to make it as a people, as a human race. We're not gonna make it if we do not get a handle on how we eat and what we put in our bodies. This is not that deep, it is not that serious. Like, it's a friggin' fake fried chicken sandwich. I promise you, you can make a healthier, cheaper version at your house. You can make a better sauce at your house. You can even probably bake better bread at your house. There's no reason to have this like end of the world apocalypse type feel about a friggin' sandwich. And it speaks to so much more when it comes down to how black people think. Like, y'all don't even understand the undertones of what is going on behind closed doors of conversations with people that are not black and what they're saying about all the black people that are running to eat fried chicken. They're laughing to the bank. The CEOs of Popeyes and all this other good stuff, they're laughing to the bank at the fact that they made all these black people, specifically all these black people, let's just be real. I'm being like everybody else, an outsider looking in. If I'm looking only based off of what the media tells me, black people are going crazy over these chicken sandwiches so if we're gonna think about it like that that means that there are people that are sitting here like yo look at all these dumb insert whatever prehistoric detrimental negative n-word you choose to hear look at all of them running for some fried chicken and what really irritates me on the other hand is like there's so many other people that are sitting here coming at the people that talk like me that are like y'all really don't need to make such a big deal over a chicken sandwich like oh y'all don't know how to let nobody have fun and it's just a moment whatever whatever it's like okay so you're gonna sit here and make fun of yourself racially you're gonna play into your own knowingly you're gonna knowingly play into stereotypes that literally condemn you and make it seem as though you're a barbaric animal that purely just needs carnal basic instincts of a simple thing of fried chicken to be a happy camper are you serious if you think that way and you are of any kind of melanin form i really need you to do some research on the different types of tactics that they use to lure black people usually to their deaths or into situations that they could not get themselves out of as easily as they got into it and what the government what society especially white america what they did to lure us in so it's not like we're just those of us that are talking about the fact that y'all really need to calm down about these food trends especially food trends that just historically play into how people already perceive you as a barbaric chicken finger grease eating piccaninny mama mammy uncle tom whatever they want to see you as they already see you as that and then you just falling into it and you're making the rest of us that aren't really with the shits look like we with the shits i'm not with the shits cut it out i really didn't want this video to be long today kids i kind of just wanted to share my thoughts on it i don't want to ruin anybody's fun i just really want y'all to calm down with this whole chicken sandwich thing i cannot wait for this trend to be over i cannot wait for it to be a thing of the past i cannot wait for it to be something that we made happen and we talk about and we laugh about one day because right now it's on my nerves let me know what you guys think of this video down below in the comments. Let me know what your thoughts are about this chicken sandwich thing. Have you had the Chick-fil-A sandwich and then have you also had the Popeye sandwich? Do you think this is all in just good fun or do you think that some people probably are 
genuinely stretching it and it's annoying AF. If you like this video, please, please, please give it a thumbs up. I won't know if you like it or this kind of content if you do participate. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I mean, because, you know, this is just some of the stuff we talk about here on the corner. It, it could be anything else that, that could piss me off we could talk about, you know, and you participate in this. So you should just join the corner, subscribe. And if you want, you know, you want to show other people, rally the kids together. Get all the baby kids off of every other corner and call them to Koi's Corner. Share the video. I mean, I, I, I'm not closing the doors on anybody. The corner's open. It's open. But for right now, kids, the corner's actually dismissed because it's the end of the video. I'm going to go because I'm not about to go eat a chicken sandwich. I'm about to eat something that my mama made. Because she loved me, so she made me food. Because my mama made me some food, I'm going to go eat because I'm hungry a little bit. A little peckish, peckish. That's all I have for you guys today. I will hopefully see you in the next one. Or we can talk in the comments below again. Below. Check out the description box for um, other content. Like my vlog last week. Don't forget, the corner's almost at 100 kids. We're almost at 100 kids. Almost at 100 kids. We're almost at 100 kids. We're almost at 100 kids I might behave until we hit a hundred kids and then I'm at the food